The united spirit of the Ukrainian people shines before the world, but two of twelve on between master and disciples held in English. Oh man, imagine that. Squirrel people, huh? <laughs> Eating human food <laughs> and then loving the two bits. Not oh, wow. even one grain of rice left oh, over wow. there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But they are also very considerate. One time it was raining and I was worried the bread would be soaked with water, yeah? Yes. 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 I wouldn't taste good and it would be mushy. So I put up an umbrella on top of the, the food area. They did not eat at all. Oh. Oh. I thought, oh, did you move? It's not springtime. You moved already? They told me, no, we don't want you to work too hard. I said, no, if you don't eat, then it makes me work harder. <laughs> 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 because I worry. Maybe I have to change the food or something. Mm. So they came back and ate everything mm. after I removed the umbrella. Oh, wow. I said, okay, as you wish, you can eat the congee of bread. <laughs> <laughs> you know, soap in, in rainwater if you want. <laughs> yeah. I have no desire to give you such soap food. Mm -hmm. mm. But I guess umbrella looks also scary. Very big, you know? Ah, mm. oh, yes. And blue. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, and covers the uh, branches of the trees where they used to climb there to get the food, mm. yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Maybe they got scared of some trap or something. Oh, oh. yeah, maybe. It's good that they get scared. It's healthy. Right. Yeah, you never know. Humans are not all kind and loving, yeah? Mm -hmm. yes, true. Yes. Oh, Mostly I just feed them in uh, winter, oh. and I don't feed them too much. Like uh, one squirrel, the person that takes three slices of toast, you know, mm -hmm. wholemeal toast, and two banana or many different mixed fruits. Yes. yes. I put it on the leaf, <laughs> oh. on the uh, leaf, you know, the falling big leaves around. Yes. Oh. Put on it, it looks very natural. Mm? Oh. Yeah. And put on the tree, yeah. The tree, yeah, and sometimes they have like many branches together. Uh huh. And it can hold food. Yes. Oh, yes. Sometimes I seize the banana on some tree, small tree. Uh -huh. It looks natural, so they think they came and harvested it from the tree. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Cooked rice, fruit and vegetable and protein. That is not a harvest. <laughs> Originally, I worry that maybe they won't eat it. Mm. Because it's not natural for them. Yes. Oh, right. But lo and behold, wow, they wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not going to spoil you. You must eat a variety of food, okay? Mm. Yeah. And I won't give you a lot all day so you can go out and get some vegetables, fresh leaves and berries and whatever for, for your upkeep. It's better. Eh? Better than just eating your bread and banana all the time or other fruit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But, uh, oh man, I left them the mixed fruit. They ate the fruit in the bread. And they even took it to another tree and put it under there. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't see it. I thought they ate it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, okay, that's good. But they hid yes. it under another tree. Ah. So I wouldn't mm -hmm. see it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes huh? So smart. <laughs> yeah, I so said, you eat them all before I give something else. Even mm -hmm. if I give you rice, not today. Not on demand, okay? Yes. So if I die, you won't die with me. You must learn to survive with everything that is good for you. Like children, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they ask for goodies, you know? <laughs> like they come and say, I love you, and all that bribing me. <laughs> and don't eat the bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aren't they cute, huh? Yes. Yeah. Because the other day, I fed the skunk elsewhere, mm. Mm. and she came and brought me a toy that she loved very much. Oh. Wow. The toy, I don't know what kind of things that is. Looks like some moss, like a 
sponge mm-hmm. oh. with some spike on it, like people use it to put in between eggs or something. Oh. And I don't know where he got that. It's one piece, like the palm of my hand. Oh. Yeah. I said, why did you give it to me if it's your toy? <laughs> and she said, it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> and there's four spikes coming out, you know. I said, yeah, it is. It looks similar to you, doesn't it? <laughs> so she was very happy. <laughs> I said, sorry, but you could not come up and I could not come down. So I leave it there every day. I go and look and enjoy it. Oh. And you can also look at it and enjoy it at the same time. So. I don't have to possess it for myself, but I enjoy it very much. It's really pretty, and I really appreciate your <laughs> your your gift very much. I don't know how she got that, where from, wow. in a wilderness like that. How did she get such a, a piece of sponge which looked like her very much, or black, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a small animal with four legs, yeah, wow. because of the spikes coming out. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Oh, I had a picture of it somewhere, and if you guys can find it. It's together with the news somewhere, or, or I don't know, or, or with the scenery photographs. Find it, okay? Yes, Mr. You won't miss it, because it's not a scenery, it's not flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not trees, it's not uh, shrubs. It's just a, a piece of black sponge or something. I don't know how she found it, but she says it's her beloved toy. Wow. One and only toy. Uh-huh. Yeah, of course, in, in the jungle, you know, in the forest, where do you find anything? Yeah. How can you find anything? Right. She yeah. probably wander around outside of my vicinity and, and found something that the wind blew there nearby. Right. <laughs> she went out of the, the fence to get it. And she loved, she's young, you know, so she loves toys, of course. <laughs> I don't know what kind of toy the, the skunks would love, so I can never know for anything. Yeah. I said, okay, you eat your food, and you're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't be too proud, okay? Yes. 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 Don't let your ego come up, because that will kill you. Yes, yes. Master. Yes, Master. And also affect our work badly, huh? Yes. 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 Okay. Then I have to edit a lot. I have to cross out a lot and rewrite a lot. It's too much work for me. Yes, Master. Because my eyes are not all that uh, well. And if I write something, either I have to write very big, but then it will cover all the, the script, <laughs> yeah? Mm. Or I have to go back and forth to check out whether or not the, the word is correct. I have to reread the whole thing again. Mm. And every time I correct, writing is a very slow one, but it's not as big a problem as when I have to correct it. Oh. Somehow it, it keeps going wrong, yeah? Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. Never mind. It's, it's okay. It's uh, part of the job. It's not. I'm not complaining. Just telling you, have to take care of your ego. Okay, huh? Yes, yes master. Yes, master. Give him as much comfort as needed, but not spoil it. Yes. 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 And take care of your eyes. We have earthing already, and now you have to take care of your eyes. Yes, yes master. master. Thank you. Every couple of hours, go out. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Yes, master. Even in the night. Yeah. <laughs> you can shine some uh, flashlight on the tree from your telephone. <laughs> oh, well, flashlight is right on the tree. Look at the leaves. Maybe it helps. Just the fresh air, and drop some eye drops on it. Yes, yes master. master. In your eyes, and then do some exercise. Okay, yes, master. Because okay, we don't have a lot of uh, physical exercise, otherwise, it would be good for you. Okay? Okay, master. Yes, master. If we eat good food and, and sit uh, all day and, and don't exercise, then you get fat in no time. Mm. You don't like to look like a war, do you? <laughs> <laughs> we already do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> How many of you do? <laughs> a few of us. A few of you, huh? Okay, okay. I don't mind as long as you don't be so, so overweight, okay? Mm. Yes, yes, master. Bad for the heart. Bad for uh, some inner organs as well. Yes, yes master. master. And so you don't feel very alert as well. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Not good. Not too much of the favorite grease or oily thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kitchen doesn't cook too oily. No, no. 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 Good, good. Yeah, because I reminded them before somewhere. Through someone else, of course. I don't dare offend your kitchen. <laughs> 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 I don't dare offend any of you. Truly, I don't have to. And sometimes I just have to treat, okay? Yes, I don't master. want to offend you anyway, but somehow I feel like, you guys, if I praise you, you know, with, with it, sincere, I'm appreciative, but your evil shut up so quickly. 
Mm. I'm surprised, you know, I'm scared. I don't know what to do to balance it. Mm. So now I, I write very short. Eh? Either just thank you or <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love God or good God or, <laughs> you know, praise God, remember God, pray God, whatever. Yes, Master. Yes. Yes. But you will remember it's God who does many things through us. Right, yes, right. Yes, 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 Even uh, it say that God told us don't come to the the dining table unless the angel of hunger tells you. Uh-huh. We are taken care of even with our meal by the angel. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it is the, the angel who tells us to keep us like an alarm clock, go eat, go sleep. <laughs> yeah. So don't overdo anything. Okay, huh? Yes, yes master. master. Do exercise. Yes, yes. Master. Yes, yes, master. Make some excuse to exercise. Yes. Okay, that is for now, for lesson number one. Okay, now I expect you have some good news for me. Uh, yes, Master. Uh, well, first, we have some questions. Tell me. Um, Master, are the continuing sanctions on Russian oligarchs and seizing their property and freezing of their bank assets, etc., good policy? Is it helpful in any way or not? It may be helpful to the war at the moment, uh, but not in a just way. Oh. No, because they did not do anything wrong. They just happened to be Russians. Right. Right. Oh, right, Master. Yeah, born there, yeah, raised up there, yeah, and making business there. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Same with uh, all the business people from foreign countries who went to Russia to make business there. Yes, oh, yes, yes. So Russia uh, sanctions these business, and the West sanctions Russian businesses and all that. But because they were thinking maybe to cripple their economy, that we make... Uh, putting things twice again of continuing in the war. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. So it does help in some way, but in my opinion, after the war is done, finished in whatever way, they should return the property to these uh, rich people or business people. Hmm? Mm, I understand. Because they are contributing to the economy of the world, not just Russia. Mm, yes. Right. right yes. Every country relies on each other for different things. Right. That's why... Uh, I said the war in Ukraine is affecting everyone mm. as well. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You can see that from business reports. And Ukraine's farm produce fits the whole of Europe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, Master. And fits the large part of Africa. So now uh, their farming is interrupted. And many of their farming products are also coming to a halt. So they cannot export them because of the war, because of whatever disruption in the transportation and logistics and uh, infrastructure, you know, as a whole. Mm, yes, Master. Yes. Yeah. This is a very sad thing. Mm, yes, Master. Yes. And uh, many of the businesses in Russia also stopped or disrupted or closed down. Mm, yes. 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 The banking system for everybody as well, ATM have a long queue. And no money is the same in Ukraine, yeah? Yes. Mm, yes, Master. In Ukraine, it's because of the war. In Russia, it's because of the disruption of the economy. Right. Mm. So it's good for nobody. And it's even bad for Putin. Yes. If if he is not a demon, it's even worse for him as a human. Mm. Oh. Right, Master. Because he's not a humane person. He punishes people for nothing. Mm. Yes. Right. Yes, Master. And then, meanwhile, bringing the world economy into disruption and recession. That's not nice, not fair, not good. It's not good for Russia at all. Mm. If he loves his people, as he professes that he does, this is not a way to repay, to show his love to his countrymen. Mm. Right, Master. Right. Right. Yeah, not to talk about uh, Ukrainians who are innocent, have done no wrong to him. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah. he was the one who did wrong to begin with, taking Crimea away and then steering trouble to take control of or connect with the other two separate regions in Donbass, for example. Yes, 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 He was the instigator of trouble. Yes, yes, yes. And Ukraine even forgave them, didn't do anything. Mm. And now he continuously wants to swallow the whole Ukraine. He might be choked to death, I'm telling you. He already is. 